Texas was the country's biggest spinach producer until the 1950s, when it began losing market share to California. The first spinach was planted in the 1917-1918 winter season. It was planted on four acres in Zervala County, near Crystal City as an experiment. The first commercial spinach crops were produced one year later. The peak season for winter garden spinach production was probably 1930 and 1931. When, 3,959 rail carlins was shipped from Crystal City. Crystal City held its first spinach festival in 1936. A tradition of continues each year in the second week of November. Crystal City raised $800 in private funds to finance the building of its Popeye statue, which now stands in front of City Hall. The statue was approved by E.C. Seeger, Popeye's creator, who died a year later. Standing in Zabala County, far away from the Gulf of Mexico, hasn't been easy for the sailor without a ship, but his facsimile takes this in at imprisonment without complaining. In his slightly belligerent pose, and with his famous anorexic biceps and pumped up forearms, he seems to be silently saying, I am what I am. What else would he say? Looking as shiny as a spray-painted pinata. This fibered glass effigy shares a secret with museum statues in Rome, Paris and London. The secret is. They are reproductions. To protect Popeye from vandals, the real statue stands safely within the walls of the Crystal City Hall. This duplicate is placed in case rival high school teams might want to defame or insult the Crystal City team by defacing the now famous landmark. Crystal City is not the only town that has a Popeye statue, or a claim to be the spinach capital. Chester, Illinois, has a Popeye statue in honor of his creator, E.C. Seeger, who was born there. They do not even deal with spinach. However, Arkansas is a hotbed of Popeye tributes and statues. The Elling Canning Company produces a brand of canned spinach called, of course, Popeye spinach with huge plants in Alma, Arkansas, and Springdale, Arkansas, who both claim to be the spinach capitals, and even have one-day festivals. In the 1980s, Dale Barker, of the Sentinel, instigated a rivalry with Alma. Springdale, however, is not as loud. Lenexa, Kansas, is another town that claims to have been the spinach capital in the 1930s. Crystal City reached its peak in 1930 and 1931, so it is highly unlikely. They do have a beautiful park where they hold their one-day festival. They have a lot of fun events like boating, fishing, jumping, and sack races. For babies, they have crawling races, and adults, of course, have spinach eating contests. What they do not have is a Popeye statue. They just have to settle for this guy. Our own spinach festival has been around for generations, with the personal approval of Mr. Seeger himself, who created Popeye. It looks like he even personally helped us create the first program for this event. One of our early festival queens was none other than one of our favorite teachers, Mrs. Anderson. Some of the early floats were very creative and required a lot of work. The Piggly Wiggly Float. The 1936 first place winner. The coronation of Queen Arcelga. This photograph was in the National Geographic magazine. So, where is the real spinach capital of the world? Is it in Crystal City, Texas? In Alma, Arkansas. In Springdale, Arkansas. Or in Lenexa, Kansas. Why don't we let Popeye himself decide? I'm Popeye the sailor. Popeye the sailor. I'm drunk to the finish because I eat the finish. I'm Popeye the sailor. I'm one such a locus which hates all the locus but hates honey up. Wear em. my bips and I bust them and always outrust them, but none of them 